Hello, hello! Blartanian here with Howling Winds, the Tiamat Raid Lufania Plus fight. We're bringing a no BT, no synergy team, ooh, spicy, featuring Clud, Strago, and Beatrix. Before we get too deep into it, be sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Only about half the viewers are subscribed, and uh, hoping to grow that, hoping that the content I'm providing is informative, uh, maybe entertaining, who knows, and, uh, well, maybe not as infrequent as, uh, as it's been in the past. Anyway, what do we got going on here? This is not a super duper complicated or lethal fight, although not quite as harmless as I had been led to believe. We'll talk a little bit about that. Um, after I go into the, just uh, some team choices here, why, did, why am I running this team in particular? I mean, yes, you can bring basic, you know, garbage time, bring anyone you want, and more or less. Um, and I'm bringing this because I wanted to bring Beatrix. Uh, I like using Beatrix, I think she's awesome. And uh, I figured she works really well in this fight because she has a sap on her kit. She has powerful, you know, damage with her C90EX and all that jazz. She has the counter to kind of help deal some extra damage during this part of the fight. Well, not during there, but in general. And she can prevent, uh, you know, prevent HP damage, which can come up. Can come up. You'll see there. Uh, they, they can build a decent amount of brave if you don't build a team designed to shut them down. I was bringing... I, I got a little careless and brought some teams that just straight up were not very good for the fight. And got punished accordingly, and so I was like, you know what, I'll try bringing Beatrix and just see how that goes. If we're bringing Beatrix, we might as well bring Kled, because he recharges EXs really fast, and she loves having her EX button available whenever she wants. I actually just recently blew him, because I enjoy his playstyle so much. And I figure if we're bringing Kled, then we might as well bring Strago for that big, big EX damage. We love using Strago on this channel, so here we are. So that's the thinking here. Um, you're... Although I actually do need to get that sap back on them, it seems. I It, it fell off during their turn warp mechanic. It is kind of nice. This fight does have a couple of mechanics. It's not super threatening. Most of the boss's attacks are brave attacks. The orb is non-lethal. It just basically automatically cl it cleanses debuffs and uh, makes, makes them do their recast, which just applies a one-turn HP poison. Um, not terribly scary, but there it is, I guess. So in hindsight, I could have just LD'd here and probably dodged a lot of my uh, a lot of what we were dealing with, but I guess that's uh, not what we decided to do in this case. Wow, that that was a loud music shift. Uh, oh, balancing was hard. Um, yeah, the, so I mean, the only real mechanic these guys have beside the orb, which slash recast are kind of the same thing, is just that that debuff. Are at eighty percent to fifty percent, they will warp their turn. Absorb HP damage, I think, and uh, take three turns in a row. Or not absorb, but block HP damage and take three turns in a row. Which can be a problem if you bring a really sloppy team. Um, like, I, try, I tried bringing a team... I tried a Final Fantasy V theme team with Gilgamesh, Bartz, and Galuf. And I actually found, weirdly enough, that they ignored Galuf's cover and just kind of killed Bartz or Gilgamesh with a bunch of Brave on like their third warp turn or something. It was kind of weird. Not sure what happened with, with that, but... Dunno. Uh, weird mechanic stuff. And that's part of why I was like, you know what, I'll bring Beatrix and just Holy Knight safeguard my way through the warp threshold. That's what, That way, if there's any weirdness going on, I'll just kind of ignore the damage. Although, whether they actually HP attack or not is a, a little up to up for grabs. So you see, there, there, they finally HP attack. Okay, good, we finally got some threat. <laughs> just in time. Beatrix uh, proving her worth there, for sure. Well, that's all fine and good. God, this EX is so good. Even though this one hits about half as hard as it should. Because it's just, you know, we're the state we're currently in. Uh, what else is there to talk about in this fight? Um, I think I talk about Than Thancred. I, I, I was seeing some people defending him, and... God, no, just looking over his kit, like... It really is kind of underwhelming. Um, yes, he has 20% HP damage on his debuff, but that's kind of the standard these days. Irvine has it, Laguna has it, and then some. Um, most supports have it passively as, like, you know, 20% HP damage up for the party. And he doesn't even apply it on his LD call, so he's not even, like, at least, like, Dark Knight Cecil or Lilliset applies it on their LD call, and that is some additional utility you can get from them. As for his turns, um, his base skills have two HP dumps, and so if you... I don't know. 
And I know, like, you know, his, his, you can use his free Ninky attack for an additional dump, and then he, you can use his special trick attack for three more dumps. But it really feels like you're putting in a lot of work for less payoff than you normally would. Like... I don't know, even, like, a... Like, I think of, like, an Alice as bringing, like, the, the crit gain and the, uh, you know, the auto, the self-enchant and peril that she brings naturally, or, like, you know, Strago is bringing, like, he has some instant break utility, and he has million damage EX buttons. And those are, those are just, like, pure damage dealer characters, let alone, like, you know, like an Irvine with his blind or Laguna with his debuffs. Like, I don't know, I just look at what's, what Thancred's doing, and I'm like, okay, yes, like, he'll, you can use him to clear content, but... I feel like it really, it really is lacking compared to what other characters bring to the table, um, which is a pity. I uh, I'm waiting for Thancred to be decent. Him ha not having HP poison feels weird to me. Like, why does Ida have HP poison and Thancred doesn't? Um, I don't know. Uh, well, whatever the reason for that, uh, I uh, ended up skipping him and probably will not regret it. Sorry, Thankward fans, it just, uh, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. It's okay, you know, every, everyone's favorite has been bad at some point, even if it's just because they are super duper duper old. Look at, uh, look at Zell and Fang, they're, they're decent now. Granted, the three people on this team have never been bad. Well, okay, Strago's been a little awkward when he first debuted with his buff management, but that, those LD boards really, really tuned him up. Speaking of bad characters who became good, check this shit out. Woo! Yeah, love that call. Just... And bringing that to just having a, a three million, da two million damage just on a call button is pretty sweet. Anyway, uh, let's close this out real quick with a nice little fanfare. Doo -doo -doo, just checking the HP requirement real quick, and that will do it. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do any more recordings for this fight. I'm actually be traveling this weekend, but I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. You can uh, I don't know comment on the team you brought to this. I'm curious to hear who, hear who you used. And I'll see you next time. Adios.